Uh. <laughs> 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 Woo! <laughs> Come boys, back at it, bitch. Uh, this is a real late night. Come town after dark. You know what I'm saying? Dark, yeah. You know, we about to get sassy, like, bitch. This is where you get. This is where we get honest, man. This is. Re- I want to <laughs> say. I want to say R and H so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I have been using the N word. Yeah, what is so going on with that? Lately. We skipped the bit where we talk about what number episode it is. Oh yeah, we did it's that, number was, that was a bit. Number sixty nine, number we do eleven. It literally yeah. every episode. No, it doesn't matter. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. No, I've been using the N word a lot lately. You have been, dude. But soft A N word always. It's, it's because I figured it out. I thought it was because I was in a. It's in a group DM that somebody labeled, uh, I'll just say it, I think, but, <laughs> so, I think we can imagine. Somebody name. changed the name to, to, to gay niggas up front, <laughs> which is so funny to me. Uh, yeah, but dude. no, it's, I, I worked on a truck with this, uh, this Puerto Rican guy that we just, from, from the Bronx and he just says it so casually all the time. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's infectious. Absolutely. Oh, it's so it much fun. It yeah, seems yeah, yeah. like also, so much fun. Puerto Ricans from the Bronx just get a pass. Yeah, sure. I think everybody understands. I think that. any group of New York teenagers will say it uh, without with yeah. reckless. I mean, I've seen Korean, like a group of Korean teenagers Absolutely. just dropping it. Actually, I left think and right. I, I think I saw some like fucking s- Serbs in Astoria just <laughs> saying it. Just. <laughs> Just like hanging out. I, I had know. a car on the way over here. Me and Stav are doing like African guy saying it, <laughs> <laughs> which is so funny. Yeah, yeah, it is it's really like funny. F- it's also fun to watch the Olympics and watch Team USA play any country yeah, and yeah. say it in that country's dialect. <laughs> like I'm like in, they're playing Australia today, which is a good game. And uh, just saying the N word or just saying racist shit as an Did Australian. You see how fucking bad China was at beach volleyball? No, they were bad. Really? In the girls or the boys? The girls. Who watches men's beach volleyball? <laughs> is that even in the Olympics? I think I it is know. because like they just have to be like, okay, we'll do men's too. I was I s- saying one of one of the Chinese teammates is just a flashlight. <laughs> on the beach volleyball team. I saw a conservative. There's a girl with bound feet, and then the other one with a flashlight. Yeah, they just shuffle. They barely yeah. can move. <laughs> well, I don't think they've ever walked on sand before. They don't have sand in China. Well, they, they walk do. on they uh, rice. rice paper. All their doors are made out of paper. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, that Japanese shit? That's got to be windows? the dumbest shit. They're good at construction in other ways, but making everything out of paper... So you can watch people. Maybe that's and beat why off. that reactor melted down. Uh oh, hot take. Made your fucking nuclear oh. reactor out of paper, <laughs> out of rice paper. <laughs> yeah, with a sunset the origami. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a smooth move, Fukushima. <laughs> you rethink your fucking origami <laughs> nuclear reactor. <laughs> Woo! We're taking everybody down tonight, bitch. Yeah. Oh, wow. You're fucking yeah. cat. Dude. I, there was something I wanted to say about the N word thing to, um, to. You know, uh, not well. I guess to vindicate myself. What? But I can't remember. I don't think there's any way I can do it. <laughs> so you're just plain racist. <laughs> well, it's not racist. It's just fun to say. I guess. You yeah. Know? It's that's racist. why. That's why he gets away with it because he's he, he's never said it with any kind of hatred. Right. 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 You know. That's he, true. That's why it works so easily for him. Who? The guy the I work with, who just uses oh. the N word. Well, well you're allowed Puerto to. If you're Puerto Rican. You're allowed to. I guess. I mean, maybe. I feel like you are. I no one would bat an eye in territory. We're not that's true. Anything. That's true. I want to see a group about, of Orthodox Jewish kids calling each other. That, yeah, that would be incredible. Well, Chinese people actually, they in I I think we talked about it, but in Mandarin, like uh, like how we say like or uh, right? Yeah. Whenever they have like a beat or something that they can't fill, they say nigga. Like they go, oh, nigga, nigga, uh, uh, go to Yonga. I love how it's just double racist. Yeah. It's like, well, no, they say it. I swear to God, dude. No, I know, but your yeah. impression is double racist. Uh, I also used to work at a Dairy Queen that Here was owned go. by these two Chinese brothers, uh, uh, Charlie and, uh, Henley. And I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Henley? His name might have been Henry, but I wasn't going to like be like, oh, you're saying your name wrong? <laughs> yeah, Charlie and Henley, they own the Dairy Queen. 
And, you know, they add, like, an A to the end of, like, everything. So, yeah. like, but they say, but so they would say my name with an A at the end. Oh, so they'd yeah. be like, Nika, you live or work? And they'd be like, <laughs> you can't say that, man. <laughs> I'm also like the only white guy that works here. You don't say that to anyone else. <laughs> the Bolivian girl. I was thinking I think about. You uh, can say it if you change Nick Mullen to Nick Mullen. Yeah. Oh, God damn. Probably. I don't know. I've already. I already feel bad. About <laughs> I can't believe I said it. No. That's hilarious. Yeah. Oh, I think I'm God. the only one who hasn't said it on the cast. Yeah. Right. So that's the thing. It's like, let's not pretend like we don't all say it in private. Well, in our in you our you can't brains, prove I've ever said it. We're singing brain. songs, right? When you're singing songs, and you change literally every word of the song. <laughs> I've head. never said it ever. Yeah, right. And you can't prove I have, bitch. That's how. Like it used to be not cool to admit that you masturbate. When was this? I don't know. Like my friend, my friend Norman was telling me about it. Because he's older. Right, right, right. He's like, I don't know, like 85 years old. Or something. <laughs> yeah, he's old as so shit. So he was like a teenager in the 80s, and he was like, that was the thing in the 80s. You bully people for like masturbating. For beating Touching off? yourself. Yeah, for that's like, what they said. Oh, this guy, it was, it's like gay to beat off, even what? though everyone did it. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, I feel like we grew up in the era where beating off was just so out in the open. Oh yeah, I talked about beating. No, maybe all the in your time. household, your weird Greek household. No, I mean not in my house, but amongst friends. Yeah, I did beat off though in very close quarters to my family. I would like the the computer was like right next to the fucking family room, <laughs> so I just like beat off, and there was no lock on it, so I would just beat off with my foot holding the fo- like I'd beat off like one. Just with a wide stance with the foot holding my the compute the fucking thing and I just beat off and I remember one time my mom found me. I don't know why I was beating off to crack confessions dot com, but it's like once you like go through every So you porn, beat off to crack confessions dot com, you're gonna say you've never used the N word. No, I've i I've never have. Yeah, I was I beating know. off to the white crack horse. No, all right. I uh, I was thinking about remember that show on T V one that I showed you? Uh, oh, black, black black men, men exposed. Reve- black men revealed. Revealed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it might be the best show. Yeah, of it, black it's, men revealed. It's gold. Yeah, it's it's one of the best things I've ever seen. Yeah. What is it? I don't know. I've, I I was like in San Diego at my like cousin's house, and they got this channel TV one. Mm, yeah, and yeah, it was just it's on. Like public it's access. Like, yeah, it's yeah. like it's basically public. It's access. not public access. Isn't that like the black channel? It's like a new black channel. I, I don't know, man. But it's like roundtable format, and it's like. Uh, <laughs> four or five middle-aged black guys. You can get on YouTube. Too. You, you can find yeah. it on YouTube. Oh, hell yeah. And then they just, you know, they, it's basically a podcast. Uh, but then they got a coffee table that sometimes has dominoes on it, <laughs> which is it's great. And like the one episode I saw, they're always talking about women or whatever. Hell yeah. Uh, like but, Steve Harvey level yeah, wisdom. Yeah, no, there's like women. one where yeah, they're yeah. like, I don't need some black bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've seen just, that one. Yeah, yeah, they just fucking berate black Black women. <laughs> and black well, no, like half of them date white women. The other yeah, half yeah, yeah, like yeah, don't yeah. date white women. Oh, yeah. It's like a debate, open forum and, debate and show. Well, there was one episode where they were talking about pussy hair. And, the, <laughs> and this guy, this one guy, he, he's he got his fingers tented. He's got like tight braids and his fingers tented. And he's sitting there and he's like, yeah, well, see, I prefer a woman to be uh, au natural, <laughs> as they call it, you know. And... Uh, as soon as he says that, right underneath him, like, you know, like the lower third or whatever, it pops up and it says, uh, it says Alonzo, uh, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Yeah. Fuck. Has gay, has being gay ever come up on that show? I don't know. I mean, I, I, I've only seen like two or three episodes. I'm sure it has. I'm sure it has, and I'm sure they're very, very You know what probably has? <laughs> uh, the DL. Yeah. That's like a big issue. Brothers on the DL spreading AIDS in the community. Whoa, dude. <laughs> well, let's t- talk about that on our White Men podcast. I mean, we already we're, we're doing already, that right now. Yeah, uh, we already this is the way man crossed podcast. over and yeah, I don't know saying soft A N word. How am I the racist one? How have you turned on me now? Because Greece. What yeah. about it, dude? Yeah, Greeks are racist. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they have a so Nazi every... party in their parliament, don't they? Yeah, they have a neo-Nazi. That's party. part of it. So what, dude? 
Honestly, I, sometimes foreigners muck everything up. They come in and they fuck it up, you know? They fuck up our beautiful country of Greece that never had a problem before foreigners started coming into it. What do you think about true. that? true, yeah. The Trojan horse, man. The Trojan horse. That was the first f- first problem of foreigners. She that was had. us going into Troy. We uh, were the Trojan oh, horse. Oh, you guys were the Trojan Fucking horse. Fucking idiot. Sorry. No, yeah, f- Greece wasn't a country then. Greece was like 19 different countries. City like, states. You know. Yeah, so Troy is like as much Greek as... No, nah, Troy wasn't Greek. It was like in Turkey. It was in Turkey. Yeah, but I mean, all that whole area, it's like t- t- vague ethnicities. You yeah, know, dude, I mean, like how much hell. different is it? Much different. Super different. No, we're I don't like, think so. Yeah, we're different as hell. We're the good so ones. So what's going on this week? We got to talk about something else. The uh, Olymp- <laughs> yeah, I, did, I wasn't expecting to talk about this. Yeah. Uh, we got yeah. Olympics. We got a guy climbing the Trump Tower today. That just happened. Yo, that where do you get those today? suction cups? I don't know. F- from Tom Cruise, uh, Mission Impossible 2. Yeah. You could probably get what, them online. What I was wondering is online. if they wanted to get them, why didn't they just get that, like, circle in the glass cutting thing? Oh, yeah. And then just cut the glass from the other side, and then he falls to his death. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> very cartoonishly funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The glass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> They just fucking grabbed his ass. Did you yeah, see they how they did. got him. Well, if yeah, you get to the, if you got funny. to the top, legally they can't arrest him. <laughs> that's true. Well, he owns the Trump Tower. Yeah, the that's top. how you become yeah. Donald Trump. Yeah, yeah that's he true. He said, "Look, I promise you. Look, <laughs> I've climbed every building in New York City. <laughs> I've climbed all of them. Ask anybody. I'm the best climber there is. But if you can climb to the top of my tower." You get to be Donald Trump. <laughs> and that's what he was doing. The guy's hair just turns Trump's. Just, I like how everyone's saying that, that he should be in jail for saying, uh, I don't know, maybe Second Amendment people can do something about it. Oh, about him. Hillary? Yeah, which is like... It is wild that he, he was doing even, a bit. He's, yeah, he's fucking... He's joking. He jokes all the time. Yeah, but he jokes about <laughs> fucking killing. He jokes he's about Ben pres- Carson being a fucking pedophile. Yeah, and, it's one thing and, if... Uh, and Ted Cruz's uh, dad being... Yeah, uh, but know, this murdering. is like... Uh, hey, maybe uh, maybe you fucking maybe kill Maybe you dumb kill bitch. the <laughs> woman <laughs> running against That's the thing. joke. Also, he's the other candidate. Yeah. It's not like he's just Donald Trump when he was a dickhead on Twitter. It's true. It's like if Mitt Romney... He was like, well, you know. No, it's not like if Mitt Romney. It, but it is because though. Mitt Romney wouldn't do that. Donald Trump would. Yeah, but he is the. Well, fucking, Hillary did. That doesn't excuse him just because he's a fucking idiot. Hillary yes, has it does. Never it's said part that. Of his personality. <laughs> In 08, do you remember Hillary said? Um, they're like, why haven't you dropped out of the race yet? Like when it was like mathematically impossible at that mm-hmm. point, and she was like, well. You don't. I mean, Robert Kennedy was murdered. No, really. Yeah, she, she said, said that, that like yeah. they might kill Obama. Jesus Christ. So I mean, I'm not saying she deserves it, but uh, you know, she's got she's got her foot. In, it's in still you know who foot. killed RFK, uh, Sirhan Sirhan, Hillary Clinton, Hillary. <laughs> yeah. a young Hillary. Clinton. Think about it. Who the fuck is named Sirhan Sirhan? So true. That's the fakest name I've ever it's heard. It's totally just, fake. like Benghazi. Yeah, it's just made up. So they were like, word. what's your name? He's like, uh, it's Sir Han. Uh, Star Wars had just come out. She loves Sir Han Solo. Han. Yeah, Jar Jar. <laughs> yeah. Who else has got two names? Uh, Butros Butros Gali. Yep. Swish. You did it. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Anybody else? Well, I don't know. No. I, I think I think what he JJ said is fine. <laughs> it is I have fun. no problem with it. <laughs> it's uh, funny. It's just crazy. I think it's funny, but... It, it's it's funny also how we're not like even appalled and like it it lasted maybe three hours that people are like whoa and then it's over right now. He, I don't I Good. literally what could he possibly say I want to raise he taxes said the, if he said the n word if he said I want to raise taxes then every then the Republicans will be like all right I'm rescinding my endorsement he can say I want to rape Paul Ryan's kids. And no. be like, oh, no, he, it's not. If he threatened rape, he threw an N-word. I think he, if he said cunt, he'd be fine. I think if he said he it like kind has. of under his breath. Yeah. Yeah, but he wouldn't. <laughs> you know? Yeah. 
He She's wouldn't say a, cunt. But he would yeah. hint at it in the same way he hinted at that woman. Remember, it was like blood coming out of her who knows where. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <That> was, <laughs> blood coming out of her eyes, blood coming out of her who knows where. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's so, why he's the best. We're he agreeing best. it was a good bit, right? That's It's the, a good bit. It's really yeah, funny, it's but bit. Jesus so. is weird. To have it's really the intense. guy running for president against yeah. you, hinting at that. Do you think uh, maybe he's having a nervous breakdown right now? No, no, he loves no? it, dude. You think this is the best time of his life? He's going to be president. No, <laughs> vote for not- him, and he's going to be president. <laughs> I can't wait. Think about how much better Funniest things one. will be for people like me. Yeah, it is true. Anyone who buys power tools has a mustache. A white man with a mustache is king in Trump's America. Yeah. (laughs) I go into any store, I'm immediately the manager of the store. (laughs) (laughs) That's the law. Who's the manager? Get the fuck out. (laughs) Unless Unless he's got a better mustache. (laughs) This guy that came in two hours earlier. Uh, Another version of you. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. I still think Bernie's got a shot at it. Yeah. I'm just holding out hope. Yeah. We just got to get a couple super delegates. It's because that cunt, uh, Debbie <laughs> Wasser- Wasselman Shorts. He was I call her uh, Debbie, what's her name? <laughs> Shits. Yeah. <laughs> TomMyers.com. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Our greatest political pundit. He should have been our. He should have been Cumtown's political correspondent. Yeah. Can we get Tom Myers? Just we should have a over segment the phone. Every week. Well, he's too busy calling Little League Baseball. Legit, we should. Yeah, you know that's that his job. So I know. Yeah, sad. he's the announcer. Yeah, yeah. At, yeah. Uh, at Cal Ripken, uh, <laughs> yeah, junior baseball. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I think it was. I think he got fired. I mean, did he? He I shouldn't have so. been hired in the first place. <laughs> yeah. They should have made like a one reference call to Justin Schlegel, <laughs> and Schlegel would have been like, uh, "Yeah, don't hire that guy." Oh <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, fuck. Dude, dude, we should for real get after every debate. We should have a, we should have a Tom Myers. You think we get him just do five minute a segment every week? He had a very funny tweet. Uh, do what that his, I retweeted from the primaries his, about Carly Fiorina. Did you see that? It? Actually, was pretty funny. Wh- uh, Where no. he's like, if uh, if I was Carly Fiorina's son, I'd kill myself too. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's not bad. Well, most of his like bad. political stand up is like about like. Paul Revere. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's got some stuff about no. Charlie's. He's got some Vietnam he stuff. To, yeah, he used to do stuff about George Bush back when everybody did George Bush stuff. Right. God, it's going to be... That's, that's the thing the that problem. sucks it's about be Trump. It's going to be hack comedy. Yeah, there's so many it's fucking gonna be so idiots good for the that hacks. are like, I'm going to be the... I'm gonna, I remember some guy that would go to open my stand just fucking like, Oh, fucking Donald Rumsfeld. He's, oh, piece of shit, you know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's gonna be more of that. I can't. I can't stand yeah, it. Yeah, that's gonna be brutal. It's gonna be. I would, I would much rather Packery. just have Tom Myers, Paul Revere material. <laughs> you know, I was laughing about today. I met, so, uh, like Paul Revere, you know, one if one if by land, two if by sea. Right. But that's also how he announced his pronouns to the village. <laughs> uh, one if one if by he, two if by she. <laughs> So, because Paul Revere was trans. Yeah, it's uh, true. He was definitely trans. Um, that's what the Pony Express was. <laughs> is, that, is that him? I don't think that's him at no, all. No, no, that was the... I think that's hundreds of years after... A hundred years at least yeah, after him. about a hundred years. What was the Pony Express? It was the, the male, male man? It was yeah, the first male the guys. famous male guys yeah, yeah. And they would, like, die all the yeah, time. Yeah. They were, like, skinny guys that rode horses fast as shit. Delivering have you ever, the have mail you ever been that, west. Been by that, uh, that fucking... Uh, well, then what the fuck... Paul Revere, the Minutemen, that's it. I'm yeah. confusing the Minutemen and the Pony Express. I think so, yeah. Uh, the the post office on, like, 9th Avenue at, like, 34th. The big, that big fucking uh-huh. mm-hmm. post office. Across the street from and Penn they, Station. And they have that, like, freeze. And above the freeze, there's, like, an, inscrip- an inscription that's, like... Uh, the post office motto that's just where the post office takes itself way too fucking seriously <laughs> that's like by, by sleet or storm or rain or you know yeah, uh, we yeah, will yeah, never yeah, fail yeah. to deliver a parcel which is like yeah n- mail never shows up you fuck up <laughs> yeah. all the time yeah, constant. everyone hates you yeah first of all I don't think any mailman I've ever had speaks that much English <laughs> on that inscription who's the most famous mailman ever Benjamin Franklin Newman 
Seinfeld. Newman, yeah. Newman probably isn't. But Newman know. was based on Benjamin Franklin. Yeah, it's true. That is yeah. true. Yeah. The character. He's an yeah. Actually, yeah. Uh, Kramer was also one of the founding fathers. Which one? Which one? Know. <laughs> Bitch. What did John Hancock do? Just he signed the thing. He big just as had hell. a yeah. he just had a gay ass signature. Yeah, and a gay ass name. He's John that, like, Hancock. He's that <laughs> autistic kid that was obsessed with signatures. Remember when like yearbooks? There would be yearbooks. Oh and yeah. Was, like someone that had like a cool signature, and everyone else had like a dog shit signature. Right, of course. But they took that signature thing real serious. Yeah. I hated those guys. Yeah, my fucking handwriting's terrible. Dude. Yeah, my, my signature hasn't changed since third grade. It's just <laughs> yeah. scribble. It's so weird. Like the one, like two times, someone's been like, "Can you sign something?" It just looks like dog shit. And I'm like, "Oh yeah, I'm a pro. I can't even spell my fucking name." Like, you spell your name wrong when you sign. It looks bad. It could be anyone. It could be any signature. Yeah, mine's literally just scribble. Scribbles. Yeah. And you get practice every time you go to a fucking, you use your card, you uh-huh. got a fucking, I should use that as practice. Well, I love that they have yeah, the yeah, digital yeah, ones. Sick one, dude. The yeah, digital ones yeah. that they make you sign with your finger, and it's yeah, like, yeah. why am I even yeah. signing this? You want me to just touch a line on the... That's what I do. That's what everybody does. Yeah. I draw a dick sometimes. I you do, do my name with uh, Mexican ex- Spanish exclamation marks with the upside down. Why did they stop <laughs> using those, dude? Right, cool. Remember, they used to use what? those all the time, and they don't do it anymore. What the finger ones? No, the upside down question mark and exclamation point at the beginning. They used cool. to use them. The, they still I use them. To, I never see it anymore. We should bring that to English. I think that's dope. Yeah, you yeah, know what? that a question's about to come up. Yeah, you don't have to oh, get is to that the end what of the that sentence. Means? Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Well, because we only do the one at the end because when you ask a question, your voice goes up at the end. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But in Spanish, it starts up and then it goes low and then it comes back up again. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Is that See? so? And if you get the upside down exclamation, you're like, wow, this is about to be a fucking sick ass, exciting ass sentence. Yeah. But how do you tell the difference between quotation marks and upside down commas? <laughs> I don't think they do the upside down commas. <laughs> Why not? What about an upside down semicolon? <laughs> that is, That's I too think much. it's only exclamation question mark. I don't think they have that much grammar. I think those yeah. are the only two pieces of grammar they have in the well, that's, yeah. piece of punctuation they have in the Hispanic language. Um Great. Spanish. Well, great. We covered that. Come town after dark. Yeah. Come town after dark. What's What's up? Up? Why are you guys tired? I've been going to fucking work all day. Shut I was up, expect- bitch. You didn't I was do expecting work. you to. Yes, I did. What did I you was- do? I carried shit around all day. I, you told me in the fucking car that all you did was you sit and fucking play there. Candy yeah. Crush. Well, bitch. I ate a bunch of fucking uh, house craft services. Ch- uh, ch- I set it up. So, you set it up. Yeah, nice. Ch- ch- chocolate col- covered espresso beans. So I'm like Ooh. crashing. But I mean, I have been up since fucking six thirty in the morning. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm, I'm busy too, enough. motherfucker. No, I had you're not. Four meals, and they were all very carb heavy. And I'm pretty tired as a result of it. I'm just stressed because I thought my dog was going to die. What happened? I got her pussy removed yesterday. Got nice. her spayed. Did you keep it and just to fuck it? I have it in Did a jar. Did you put it in a flashlight? Yeah, I got it. I'm going to put it in a flashlight pretty soon. Yeah, you never want to lose yeah. out on that opportunity to fuck your pets, folks. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bob Barker. <laughs> Remember to fuck your pets. <laughs> fuck your pets till their you pussies don't them. work. You that's think that point. would be that's cool? That's why Bob Barker told people to get their dicks and vaginas removed. Yeah, so you don't get your dog pregnant. Yeah, that's true. Well, that's what his last name, Barker, <laughs> is English. <laughs> and it was the man that knew how to bark at the dogs to make them fuck. <laughs> to make them have sex, yeah. It's like Smith, those were blacksmiths. <laughs> Barker was... Uh, <laughs> You guys can speak to Imagine animals. Imagine a guy barking. And then <laughs> two dogs start fucking each other. You know about English blood sports? No. Um, this is always a fun anecdote. So, uh, yeah, the English had all these fucked up blood sports back in the day, and like they were like they had one called fox tossing, <laughs> where you just take a fox by the tail and throw it up in the air as high as you can and try and like break its legs when it landed or whatever. Whoa. And uh, I don't know how you score that game or how it really works. You just sort of throw. I a think fox everyone's in. sort of a winner there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like pinata. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, the classic. Uh, the do um, did, did they do pinata in the Olympics? 
Bad Mexico, the only country yeah, yeah. that competes yeah. in pinata. Yeah, they got rid of it because Mexico was just dominant. They got the gold medal. Yeah, yeah. They had the most candy. They just <laughs> yeah. some fucking three foot four Mexican guy. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you, Betty Betty Marty. Oh my god. He's got all Shut up. They have a low center of gravity for pinata. No, they're well, I don't know. The Chinese were bad at beach volleyball. I saw a conservative meme today of uh Wait, I, guess, I didn't finish the story about blood sports. Uh, finish, please do. Yeah. I had another one called goose polling. Where well, they would, what happened there? All right. So, well, similar to the fox toss, <laughs> <laughs> they would take these two uh, pillars and then uh, span a rope in between the top of them and then hang a goose from its feet. Jesus Christ. A live goose. And you would ride a horse at full speed in between the posts <laughs> and you would have to grab the goose's neck and you try and rip its head off. Without like ripping off the rest of the body, uh -huh. or like you know, but the goose is flapping around, so it's mm -hmm. hard to grab. So that's how the sport worked: is you would you know grab at the goose, try and rip its head off, and it was very difficult. But the best sport that they had, um, I think, was just called bear worrying. <laughs> 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 so they called it. They would take. They had an arena set up. And they would release a bear into the middle of the arena. Holy shit. And then they had, like, wild dogs on chains that only went up to, like, you know, near the middle of the arena. Uh -huh. So they would corner the bear in the middle of the arena and just scare it with the dogs. And uh, on the Wikipedia page for bear worrying, they have, like, this excerpt from some account of, like, some Englishman that saw... Like, this happened back in, like, I don't know, the 1600s or whatever. Jesus whenever they were Christ. still doing it. And uh, there was, like, a variation of bear worrying where instead of a bear, they used a donkey with an ape tied to its back. <laughs> 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 and, like, the, in, the, in the excerpt, it was like, it was very amusing to see, uh, you know, the screaming of the ape <laughs> as it pulled on the donkey's ears and the curs tearing at the ape's fur. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. Yeah, so, so that's basically why they took over the entire world. Yeah, yeah it's sort of an English. analogy of what they did to the rest of the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so <they> just, <laughs> just pure evil. Yeah, yeah. The English. Completely, yeah. You think there was someone who was just, like, trying to tone it down just a little bit? It's like, we were just... You know, we don't have to kill the bear. Did they kill the bear? I mean, probably. Why wouldn't they? Wouldn't the bear fuck the dogs up? Uh, no, not if you had enough dogs. I guess that's true. Fuck, I feel like a dog... How many... One bear versus, like, five dogs beats up five dogs, right? Depends what kind of no, dog. No, I mean, dogs, dogs as a team are pretty... I guess you're right. They, they're a pack. That's why they bred bulldogs. Like, four corgis versus a bear? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They bred bred bulldogs. They, uh, you know, they put, like, uh, septum piercings on bulls? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. It's for bulldogs to grab onto. Oh, and shit. And they would sick bulldogs on the bulls. I thought they'd get them because no one else in their town understands yeah. them. <laughs> yeah. There he it's is. Uh, they're different. <laughs> yeah. Hot topic bulls. Yeah, bulldogs used to be fucking strong as shit. Now they're just, like, fat as hell. Yeah, Those are American bulldogs. What are? Ameri uh, bull All their English bulldogs fail. look different than American bull. American bulldogs are the ones that look like they have Down syndrome. No, no. American bulldogs are fucking big and jacked still. The English Bulldogs are the fat ones. Uh, maybe I have it backwards. I think you do. I yeah, have a lot of Bulldogs. There's a third type that's like the classic Bulldog or something. And yeah. those just look like pit bulls, kind of. Yeah, that's American Bulldog kind yeah. of looks like that. Yeah. The weirdest looking dogs are those fucking uh, bull terriers. The ones that just have like the fucking uh, like the lampshade head. Where there's no stop to their nose. Oh, yeah. I love those dogs. Yeah, those yeah, dogs. Yeah. They're all pointy. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think it's a ghost or something. Yeah. <laughs> a Someone's noise. getting murdered downstairs. They look like albino, kind of, those dogs. Sometimes. They're, like, all white, and they, like, have no bump to their nose. Do you remember them bringing a, an albino boa constrictor to, like, your school as a oh, kid? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah, is yeah, it yeah. with albino boa constrictors? Was, was it always, with you guys, a guy who had, like, the longest ponytail you've ever seen yeah, in your entire it's, life? <laughs> all animal handers, handlers are either that guy or, like... Clearly a lesbian yes. with yeah, an yeah, ass yeah. that's just 
<laughs> destroying a pair of like khaki shorts. <laughs> Pleated khaki yeah. shorts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, they're like, guys, check this out. And they always like squat at some point. <laughs> you're going to see the fucking, you know, the sheer pressure. Just the every fibers. Thread. Yeah. Praying. <laughs> those khaki shorts. They just have a man's name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm What's Dale? up? I'm Ice. My partner Sharon couldn't be here. <laughs> but I want you to meet Eric, the boa constrictor. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Eric get along. There's a weird, like... Are they telling us to noise? stop? I don't know. There's a weird rapping noise in the apartment. I think it really might be a ghost. Someone, I feel like someone's knocking. We should have a Ghost Hunters episode, guys. Very if someone was guys. knocking, they'd be texting me, too, probably. Oh. Uh, should we take a break? Uh, we no. should probably just stop podcasting. <laughs> We've done, like... <laughs> No, nah, we've done 30 minutes. We'll we take have? a break. Yeah. Take, take a break. We'll take a break for All a second. Right. Get to the bottom of this this uh, surprise Ghost Hunters episode <laughs> of Come Town, guys. You got to stay tuned because I know it seems like there's just a knocking noise going on, but this is actually a fully written bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We've thought about We're this We're going to get to the bottom of it. All right. We'll be back. The home improvement episode I'm playing tonight is the episode called Adios, Season 8 First Aired, Tuesday, September 29th, 1998. Great episode. That's with the Tool Time theme song, Lyric Contest. Ready? Get set, go. Well, today, we kick off the Tool Time Lyric Writing Contest. For years, our theme song has had no words. Buzz? <laughs> song without lyrics is like, you know, it's like Al's mom without a five o'clock shot. The joke's about Al's mom. The Tool Time theme song lyric contest. Detroit's finest songwriters are vying to have their lyrics be the crown jewel in the dazzling Tool Time theme. You heard it right, there's no money involved. The crown jewel. How the contest works. Well, our contestant begins to sing, and the moment we don't like what we hear, Blanco. Turn up with a warm hello to the flannel. The flannels. They all look like Al Borland. A cappello. Yeah, if you're a single woman and a Scottish mixer, huh? Where are your instruments? Oh, we don't have any. We'll be singing Al Capella. Al Capella. <laughs> Everyone gets set for tool time. Wrenches. Everyone gets set for tool time. Ratches. Circular, 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 circular. Reminds me of the Beach Boys and Brian Wilson. And they are big fans of the show. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a rap group. Cool J and Grandmaster Bass. Reminds me of LL Cool J. Yeah, this is the last home from episode with John P. Taylor Thomas in it. And that was when John P. Taylor Thomas left the show. And this is the episode where Randy goes to Costa Rica. It's a great episode. All right, we're back, uh, we're back. guys. It was a uh, ghost, but uh, we called the lady Ghostbusters <laughs> and they took care of it. Uh, and then we fucked them. We got, we got, yeah, we fucked the lady Ghostbusters. Um, you know, no. how, like the ghost is always like a an old prostitute that died in the eighteen hundreds, right? In the, what? In like you know, like camp. They're like, oh, there was an old whore. And she died in a fire here. You know? Well, every we went to like. A screenwriting camp yeah. and like elaborate stories. I went to it was always like it was a guy like the fuck kids, yeah. and then he got murdered. So, then, yeah. but now he's a ghost and he fucks kids. As I a thought ghost. it was always like an accidental fire, and there was no, like a little somebody girl that's missing that a hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a terrible hand person. And replaced it with another dick to fuck kids with. <laughs> <laughs> they call him Dick Man. <laughs> Um, and just when you think he's about to come, another dick comes out of his dick. 
He just comes another dick. <laughs> it's an even smaller, so it's not as bad. But you get, yeah, you getting fucked again. <laughs> so uh, my name's Jonathan. I'll be your counselor. <laughs> Sleep tight, everyone. Shabbat shalom. My name is Jonathan. Yeah. Um, what's with the fucking shining the light up uh, on your face? On your face. Flashlight. Because it makes Make you it look, look kind of spooky. spooky. Yeah. It's like hollows out your eyes and shit. Did you ever go to camp? I mean, obviously, Adam, you went to camp. Oh, I went to camp. Yeah. You would be funny to like... Oh, never mind. What? Is it another racist thing? No, it actually just wouldn't be funny. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it just wasn't a good joke. Trust me, I have no problem just saying the racist thing. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, we got to talk about... Jesus, I'm so fucking tired. I'm, like, exhausted. And After then this, dark, like, baby. slight... It's 11.29, listeners. This slight rapping on the wall is it driving is, me It nuts. is annoying. It but is I've been working annoying. for days on end. I've been, like, literally <laughs> at doing fucking 13, 14-hour shifts since last <laughs> Wednesday. Every yeah. week we come back, your pile of tools has... <laughs> it's bigger. ...has exponentially No, I just expand. move shit around. It's the same pile no, of tools. No, there's more tools. There's no, more. No, there's not. It's usually in my room. You got those need all those. Look how mad he is about his tools. Well, I need them. <laughs> for what? What, do you mean what for is this? What? A circular saw? Yeah, it's a circular saw. This those kind of clamps are fun because you could pretend they're a gun. Well, yeah. What are those called? Uh, clamps? They're called gun clamps. Gun clamps, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You put your fucking rifle in there. You hold those down. Yeah, these are good. Clamp a bitch's titties with Reversible, those. Reversible, so you can turn them into spreaders. Like spread an ash sheet? Yeah, but you put... You put you, here, I'll show you. you basically, you, you sit the woman down. Uh-huh. You know? This is a... This is a, this this is a really a good bit. All right, well, I was going to talk about something else, but as soon uh, yes. as I started talking about it, you decided to mention a thing. Sorry. That, that is true. No one can see, so it's not me that did it. It was... Uh, I didn't fucking bring it up. Yeah. That is true. No, Oops. we're going to talk about Brandon's beef with that guy who's basically Brandon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, well, his hands... The wild and out version of Brandon. Yeah, yeah I watched that kid stand up. He's like... You know, for what he is, he's not a bad joke writer. Oh, really? He, well, I mean, he's you know, bad, he does, dude. He's, I like, that guy. he's like, yo, there's this guy, DJ Khaled. I saw that bit, dude. Yeah. What is it? It's not a bad bit. It's about how, like, DJ Khaled is, like, famous for, like, just saying his name in the song. Well, no, because DJ it. Khaled made the song. It's a stupid bit because he wrote all what, the does music. Does DJ Khaled produce all? Yeah, he produces all of those songs. Yeah, that's why he's DJ Khaled. He's a DJ. He's not a yeah. rapper. Well, I was under the impression that he doesn't produce all of the songs. Well, that I, ugh, I don't know. I mean, he produces them the way like Puff P Diddy produced shit. Yeah, he doesn't. P actually, Diddy also rapped. No, but he's ghostwriters. He had ghostwriters. Don't worry yeah. if I write rhymes. I write checks. That was his. Sorry, I'm done. The, uh, so Every, you think literally this guy is everybody good? writes checks. You don't need a lot of money. To write <laughs> yeah, checks. my grandmother so writes checks. I don't, think I don't think he's good, but I think you need to like con considering stand up comedy at large to watch that kid stand up and be like, oh, this guy fucking sucks. It's like, no, not really. He's okay. Yeah, he's, he's all right. I don't know. What is he like? Seventeen. Yeah, he's, he was really Something young. like that. That is the thing. Like, like his racist 19. tweets probably were from... He was, he, was, he was like 12. I think yeah. he was like 14. Yeah, 13. So it's like, all right. Yeah, I feel bad for kids who like had Twitter at that age. Are you kidding I didn't me? have Twitter at that age. I, I, probably said, I wouldn't have said racist stuff, but I would have probably said really unfunny stuff. Yeah, I, feel I still bad. do. <laughs> I feel bad for the kids that have like YouTube accounts and they're like 11 years old and they're like... This is Daniel's uh, penis measuring account. <laughs> I'm in <mean>, one inch. <laughs> and then somebody like immediately downloads it, and that's going to be online forever. Yeah. Yeah. But, no, uh, yeah, those are, oh, man, how about that autistic guy who's autistic for home improvement, I found. What? Yeah, yeah you, I found said, a guy, you sent us a I found, link. I sent the video. You probably didn't oh, watch it. I didn't see it, it no. But this, it's an autistic guy, and he's got, like, home improvement on DVD, and he's just yes. taping the... The DVD menu, and he's like, "Okay, tonight I'm watching uh, <laughs> episode uh, 206. It's the one with the uh, 
Tool, tool time uh, lyric contest. Very good episode. <laughs> and then with like every joke that happens, he's like, he's making fun of Al. That was bomb. <laughs> <laughs> he's like explaining the jokes autistically. <laughs> and then, so I found that video first and then you go to the account and then you click on uploads and uh, absolutely there is uh, train videos on there. Yes. For sure. Of course. Yes. Of course he went down to the local... Oh. Railroad tracks? Fuck yes. You know what's funny? I remember when I was a kid, I would see things that are, were about autistic kids. Um, back when, like, you needed to have, like, heavy-duty autism to be considered autistic. Right, before it became just a thing everyone yeah, says. Yeah, yeah. Right. Because you used to, uh, the diagnosis used to just be gay, but not, like, <laughs> homosexual, like, you know, 90s gay. Mentally gay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, You know, yeah. your son's just, he's, you know, he's a little queer. Yeah. Just people don't like him. <laughs> yeah. He makes that noise whenever he's I've been seeing these ads all over the city that's like, do you know adults can have ADHD I too? That, yeah. And it's like, yeah, no, they can't. <laughs> I'm saying they can't. I don't give a shit what doctors say. It's it's not ADHD. You're just shitty at your job. Your job sucks. But you, but it'd be nice though to get fucking uh, Adderall prescribed. No, I think they'll give that to you for any reason. Just for anything. Yeah, you just go in there and you're like, you know, give me some, g give me that Adderall, bitch. Give me Adderall and dick pills. Yeah, that's all you have to do. What that's were we talking about? That kid, Brandon. Brandon. Oh, we're saying something else. Uh, uh, autistic autistic people. kid train video. Oh yeah, right. Being I used gay to, I mentally. remember seeing uh, they you know they used to have these like, w like th th I remember seeing a thing specifically about like you know oh, you need to look after autistic kids because they they don't process sounds the way other people do, oh, shit. and they get hit by trains a lot, and uh, and I didn't realize it until I was older. It was like oh no they. It has nothing to do with the sound. They yeah. just fucking love those damn trains. Yeah, they're trying mm -hmm. to fuck the trains. Mm -hmm. What is it about those fucking trains? I don't know, man. Elevators, too. I did... I I don't know if I mentioned it. I do have, like, a bit of a... Uh, I do have, like, an autistic... This is probably the most spectrum thing I do, but I get... I got into civil defense sirens a couple years ago. <laughs> Holy shit. Like tornado siren, like air raid That's sirens. That's oh incredible, <laughs> dude. And it, yeah. What do you mean you got into them? Well, it started because <laughs> I oh saw a video... God. I saw a video of uh, somebody put like a train horn on um, on a Ford Explorer. Those shits are loud. Oh, yeah, damn, they're loud as awesome. shit. So the, on the undercarriage, he's got like a train horn. And he's driving around scaring people with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh, that's awesome. I got to do that. And then I saw a guy that had a cruise ship horn just in the bed of his pickup, which uh, rules. That's yeah. fucking awesome. And I was like, what's the biggest fucking horn you could get? <laughs> and they're air raid sirens. Jesus. That's the loudest horn you can get. And the way they work is they have this like huge blower, like a huge air compressor, pr compressor that like, you know, forces air up the... And to power that, you would have to have, like, some kind of, I don't know, like, special transmission or something. And, right. you know, I was just thinking about it in my head. Like, oh, it'd be cool if you could do this. And then I started reading about all these different sirens. And then after a couple hours, it just turned into, like, watching videos of air raid sirens <laughs> going off. <laughs> and I just, it was sort of, like, therapeutic. Oh, man. And now occasionally I'll just look up videos and just watch, you know, air raid sirens. That's how you slowly turn retarded. <laughs> like that's just like it starts little by little every day yeah. until you're just fucking going to an air raid. Fuck it, you're going to see them. Just watching uh, porn videos. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, why not? You know, uh, that's where the word horny comes from. That is guys. fucking hilarious. Um, that's you still just do that? Like once every six months, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you really get the urges. <laughs> well, okay, so, um when it's a this full a, moon, uh, there's a company called um, Federal Signal. I think they make a <laughs> Thunderbolt T1000 <laughs> siren. That's probably my. Don't favorite. they do that at Guantanamo? <laughs> they had, like have like horns. That's or my something. favorite. <laughs> You've got fucking <laughs> favorites. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're great, dude. <laughs> Thunderbolt T-1000. Something like that. I don't know. I forget the name. Don't, I they, mean, I, do, don't they torture people like audio torture at yeah, Guantanamo? Yeah, like music. Is it with music? I yeah. thought it was like maybe like certain pitches or like... 
Is it? Br- is I'm there, sure they do everything. Are there brown sound machines? No, but there is a certain. I think it's it's like seven kilohertz or seven hundred or something. Is where you poop your pants? You crack a chicken's skull. What? Whoa. Yeah, it's a resonant frequency. Mm-hmm. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, that's every Motorhead song actually. Yeah, is that that? <laughs> yeah, that's that Ace frequency? of Spades. Yeah. If you yeah. play Ace of Spades, chickens will the die. Ace of Spades. Yeah. Um, R.I.P. What happens to the fucking chicken? It just fucks around. It hits the resonant frequency of their skull and it shatters. Holy fuck! That shit's cool. Like if you take, <laughs> it's like, uh, you know, you make like glass shatter. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So it's whatever that is, but for a chicken Damn. skull. Does that exist for a human skull or no? Um, it's probably too thick. I don't think so. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if it did, it wouldn't be like an audible. Right, 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 you know? right, right. Totally, totally. But the military has all this weird fucking technology. Have you seen that that thing that's like basically like a heat panel that can blast like heat, directional heat, like 300 yards or something? Oh, shit? yeah, yeah, yeah. So like... I remember reading about it, like, what oh, is like all the military's you? new non-lethal equipment like 10 years ago, and they have this thing, so it's like, and it doesn't hurt the insurgents. It just feels like they opened an oven suddenly, <laughs> and then they have to, like, surrender, and it's like, yeah, I'm sure that doesn't have any kind of right. dramatic, uh, long-lasting effect. Like, they feel like all, all their hair is gone. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like, they just, when they get <laughs> cancer of, like, the fucking eyeball in two years. <laughs> oh, yeah, whoops. No fucking effect. That's hilarious. Yeah, the military has never produced anything that doesn't give people, like, horrific cancer. Absolutely. Like, ten years later. Motherfucking Agent Orange at this motherfucker, yeah. Except for, uh... Military weed, man. Yeah. The AK-47, dude. That's the government <laughs> That's weed. That's the government. KGB? <laughs> yeah. I remember all those weed That's names That's the Russian high government weed is KGB. You oh, know, the was, weed names are even more intense now. That it's, I like, know. legal and there's, like, different strains and growers and stuff. That's the most obnoxious part. It's so... Weed. You know, there's just good weed and shitty weed. I kind of hope that would stop when it became legal, but no, you look at microbreweries and yeah. it's, it's yeah, only going to get worse. Yeah, 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 there's IPAs of weed. Everything is a yeah. pun. You know, I laugh to myself all the time to, like, just, uh... You can go, like, talk to, like, beer guys or be like... It's like, I actually had this, uh... The dog shit head night at 120 minute IPA. Yeah, yeah I just said uh, this dog shit head. It's really good. <laughs> yeah, don't disrespect dog fish head yet. That's it's Delaware, Frederick, right? Maryland's own. Is it Maryland? It's, no, it's Delaware. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yo, speaking of Maryland, Which guys, Frederick? Maryland fucking legend Michael Phelps, right, guys? That's yeah. Right, dude. Tosin, My boy right? Mikey Phelps, yeah. Oh, he has like a million dollar condo in Canton. Yeah. Does he? Yeah, and it's like, no, you just spent too much money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, Canton's yeah. fucking expensive, yeah. Yo, Canton's fucking worth a million dollars though, yeah. for a condo. Yeah, dude, it's fucking right on the water, yo. Fucking beachfront property at that motherfucker, yo. His Ain't body no fucking is black so people out there, yo. Looking. Yeah, his, his head is weird. His upper torso looks like it's twice as long as his legs. Yeah, Apparently he, his lungs have a twenty liter capacity. It's like twice damn. the amount of. Yeah, you know they found lungs. that out. He when went he's to a ripping party, the, ripping the bong. No, he went to a party and he got really sick. So he had to go to the hospital and they had to pump his lungs. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> twenty liters of oh, jizz. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he went to one of those Rod Stewart parties. <laughs> yeah. yep. Where they Rod's, just have jizz on tap. <laughs> Rod Stewart and all of the Olympic athletes, and they listen to Forever Young and. <laughs> <laughs> Maggie May Shotgun uh, cum Yeah um, Have you guys been doing I find with the Olympics That I've been Typing in A lot of Olympic sports Into my porn searches So I've been searching Gymnast There's a lot of gymnast stuff Oh yeah there. I've seen that before yeah, I, I was, was at some bar The other night And I was watching Like beach volleyball I was Beach volleyball stand, Yeah And some guy came up And he's like yeah, I could beat off to this <laughs> What? It's like, why? Why yeah. would you? Why would you beat off to it? What are you, in jail? Just <laughs> download pornography like a fucking normal human being. Well, yeah. oh, I was saying this earlier. I saw a conservative meme on Twitter today that was like the United Arab Emirates beach volleyball player and she was wearing a hijab and like long sleeves and then like some European chick and she's wearing a bikini it's like which society is better the society that represses what and it's like obviously like there's just one fine ass girl and one Muslim yeah, girl it was, yeah, yeah. it was fair also it's not better it's like these bitches have their titties out yeah it's yeah. like if you want to fucking cover your tits like I feel like whenever I watch beach volleyball I'm like this isn't there's no reason you need to be seeing their whole ass 
There's like absolutely no, for a sport. Oh, also, no. why are they playing on sand? That looks sport like uniforms, beach volleyball, dude. Sport uniforms. That's fascinating. Why is that an man? Olympic sport? Baseball? What a ridiculous uniform that they've yeah. gone with. Yeah. Just floppy pajamas, like with fucking buttons. And buttons? It, was, and it hasn't changed in like a hundred years. years. Yeah. Yeah. I love that buttons? just the fat managers wear them. That's the best. Part. They also wear the the outfits. Hilarious. The Christy pants thing is the best thing. It's to the absolutely. best picture ever. To be yeah. Taken. His little How ass dick. How small is his dick? He's got a tiny dick. Well, he talks it. Into his fat? Into, into his, his balls. Ass. Into his ass. Oh, into his ass. I do that too, yeah. Well, yeah. that way if you have to pee, you just pee into your ass and then you shit it, shit out, it later. out later. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. It's efficient. I mean, that's what we all do here. That's what they do at the Chinese iPhone You know, you know who comes up with that? <laughs> Guys that saved the state after Hurricane Sandy. It's that kind of resourcefulness. <laughs> That we need leading this country. God, that guy is so fucked. Chris Christie. He's, like, where does his career go? I mean, unless Trump wins, then he's fucking cabinet secretary of pizza. Chris Christie, um, Jared Kushner, uh, his, his dad was sent to jail by Chris Christie, and that's why he wasn't allowed to be vice president. Because he sent hmm. Melania's husband's dad to jail. Really? Do you remember that scandal in New Jersey a couple of years ago? There were like rabbis implicated. Wait, Melania's and like there were, husband. You they mean, were like trading on the black market corpses and stuff. There was like no. organ, there was like this whole crazy scandal, and Melania's husband's dad. Not Melania. Was, they were buying and Ivanka, selling uh, Ivanka, parts yeah, yeah. for trans people. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to suck off, they were buying and selling little kid wieners to suck off, because rabbis are gay. Yeah, there was like the mob was implicated and like really? Orthodox rabbis, and they're dirty. I don't know. That'd yeah. be a good Scorsese movie. That would be a good one. Yeah, yeah. I can already hear every Rolling Stone song. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it is funny. It's like just fucking get different cultural references. Yeah, it's like fucking every. Well, I'm Scorsese's tired. like Scorsese's transit, and that it's a vinyl show that we were talking about. That how that vinyl show has the same tone as like when like you have an older uncle that tries to tell you about how cool they used to be. Right, right, right. right. And Scorsese's now one of those guys. Absolutely, he was like legitimately cool, super cool. But now it's too late. Yeah, you know, he's unless just, he's trying to not be cool, if he's just making a different, just a good movie. Like I don't know. Actually, I don't know. Fair, I haven't seen a, a recent. I'm so impressed with that dude. Most people at like 50 turn really uncool. Mm -hmm. He made The Wolf of Wall Street as like That's a 75 true. year old. That movie is like, well, yes, is a funnier than most Funny comedies. Shit. Funny as shit. Like, yeah, but that's, yeah, go ahead. You know how I did it. Yeah, but Jonah Hill is what made it funny. I. You he can't wrote, just say he rewrote the entire script himself. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "We're not doing this." <laughs> I think I think Scorsese stayed cool by doing cocaine doing for coke. fifty years. Yeah. Huge cokehead came out of it still a young man. You know who else did that? Adolf Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he stayed. Cool. He was a big cocaine guy. <laughs> did he do greenies? I feel like he must have been on something. Uh, Nazis must have had good drugs, right? They invented basically every drug. Really? Yeah. Like PCP they invented uh, by trying to make like super soldiers. Holy shit. Yeah. Um, that's the only one, I think. We <laughs> maybe, maybe methamphetamine, too. I yeah. feel like they must have made some kind yeah. of meth shit. Because they were fucking hopped up, dude. Yeah. They made the strongest weed ever, but... It was in Hitler's bunker when he killed himself. No. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, yeah. we got to find Starring it, Seth Rogen. It's, yeah. it's like, it's we, we got to go get the weed. Find we out get the, and it's called Inglorious Potheads. <laughs> <laughs> fucking call it Danny McBride as fucking some German guy that talks like a southerner for some yeah. reason. <laughs> you are not going to fuck up my Auschwitz. <laughs> <laughs> this is my Auschwitz. Get the hell out. The my Auschwitz. <laughs> Danny McBride, have you guys watched Vice Principals? That's just pretty good. Aren't people I saw mad a couple that it's episodes. problematic? It's problematic, one, but it's not, it's not problematic, There was one actually. article. The, man, have you ever read it's the pilot just Kenny for Powers too. It Down? It's incredible. It's, have I read it? It's so yeah, fucking Not watch it. Read the actual yeah, yeah, pilot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, there's like one line in there. It's just like dropping N-bombs, but racistly. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. 
I love uh, East Baton. It's Down, still very man. funny. It's my favorite show. It's it was so just good. Because that I, show changed the game. I'm so I feel mad. like this new show is just the same thing, though, right? Yeah, but that's sort of what. Whatever. Who yeah. gives a shit? It's, it's still funny. But it's not exactly the same thing. It's a it. different. It's a different character, and uh, the guy from fucking uh, the guy who was in There Will Be Blood and the the other guy in it. What the fuck is his name? What's he from? I, he did Anton the shoes in the shield. And he, oh, Michael Chiklis? It was Michael Chiklis. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. No, the other guy. He was in the sh- and he was he played uh, in There Will Be Blood. It was the guy's brother, Plainview's fake ass brother. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, and There Will Be Blood. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, the fuck is his name? Fucking Dano, Paul Dano? No, 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 no. He played his fake brother, the imposter. Fuck. What else was he in? He's been a lot of stuff. He's he been Paul Dano was, was only he- supposed to play the first brother in There Will Be Blood. And P.T. Anderson liked him so much yeah. as the first brother that he was like, yo, you'll just play the other guy, too. Wow. And that's why it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's yeah, weird. Yeah. I don't know if... I mean, I always, like, love watching his movies. Yeah. But there's so much shit in there where I'm like, why did he do this? Right, like, I right, can't right. figure it out. I feel like he's making it up as he goes along. Right, yeah. I, I read the first draft of The Master... And I was like, oh, this guy doesn't even have a movie here. Yeah, it's not, it's not a movie. He's he's sort of. I, there's this woman, Megan Ellison, who's that guy from Oracle's daughter, mm-hmm. Larry Ellison. She's yeah. basically like she owns Anna Anna Perna Pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or whatever. She's basically like a patron of the arts. Yeah. She's like, I want to let the best directors just fuck around and do their yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. And so, basically, he has sort of a blank check whenever he makes a movie. Interesting. That's why yeah. he made blank check. Yeah, yeah. It's actually about his <laughs> experience. That was, in yeah. that was a fucking good ass fucking movie, dude. <laughs> blank I beat check. off to that woman. Yeah, I, did we talk about how the the property brothers are basically building that? Like this. Remember in Blank Check, you had a slide. Yeah, 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 yeah. awesome. The property brothers have did that, that in their own in their house. house. Really? They're like, we have a slide in our bedroom that we share that goes all the way into the pool, <laughs> and we built a movie theater in the backyard. <laughs> I'm convinced they never hit puberty. Do you think that's the next thing after, after like, so there was, like, gay liberation, trans liberation. Do you think twin gay brother liberation <laughs> is the next thing? Twin, Tw- twin ancestral twin, twin gay brothers. Twin gay property brother. <laughs> gay property bros. Those guys fucking would be a sight. I'd love to Probably. see Probably. I would watch that on, on HD, HGTV after dark. <laughs> Yes, this is Come Town After Dark. Do you yeah. Going back to the- I would I would actually not watch them fuck, but I would watch them. You remember that Josh Hardnett movie where he can't fuck for like forty days? Yes. Yeah, 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 forty days and forty nights. Yeah, Shannon uh, Sossaman. The, the bored white guy movie where he just decides not to beat off or fuck for Lent. Yeah. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. It's Lent. Um, remember the feather coming scene? <laughs> yeah, oh, <laughs> where he that was blows hilarious. that feather along that woman until she comes. Uh, watch the Property Brothers do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want to see. As the Property Brothers have a feather blowing cum session. <laughs> Fuck, man. Making each other come by tickling their dicks would be so good. <laughs> but then, like, but then they just have to go back to being the Property Brothers. <laughs> I was saying, like, on the next episode. <laughs> They're like, it's a three and a half bedroom. <laughs> well, we like it, but what were you guys doing with that feather? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, we should do that. We should write that. Do pilot. Hawaiian women actually wear coconut bras? Oh yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, under their sh- under their t shirts. I mean, have they ever done that though, or was that just something? Somebody I mean, probably made in up? the like seventeen hundreds before we like took their country. Before we from fixed them. them. Yeah, we f- yeah, yeah, we brought them into the light. What was his name? King something. King Dole. King Leonidas. Dole pineapples. Yeah, yeah. Hawaiian King Leonidas. <laughs> Didn't pine just a pineapple company just straight up stole yeah. Hawaii, right? Uh yeah, I don't know. I think someone so. someone smart would know this. I think so. How do, the United States went over to Hawaii and just said this is ours now. Kinda. I think a fucking company was wanted to get the pineapples and they were just setting up shop and then they just fucked up some queen. Nah, okay, it was it wasn't pineapples. It was bananas, and it, it belonged to all the natives. And then King K rule. Came in and stole all the bananas <laughs> from the Kong family. Yes, uh, Donkey and Diddy. Donkey and Diddy. Uh, That's true. That's Donkey right. Kong being um, Dwayne the Rock Johnson's you know, the, father. Yeah, mm-hmm. a Hawaiian. Mm-hmm. 
a Samoan Hawaiian. They are huge. They're huge people. Enormous. You think they have big dicks? I went to high school with a bunch of Pacific Islander kids, and they are chimonga. And the women are just as big. Do you think they, they eat all the fish in their diet? They eat all that fish and butter. The, the, the poi? <laughs> yeah, they do poi. What's poi? It's like their f- thing, the uh, Hawaiian dish they're into. I thought they eat spam. They I love they, fried spam. They I thought they uh, ate a shaka you know taco. Was, you know what I was doing? I went, to, <laughs> I went to the beach with my friends. We were like making up fake like Hawaiian slang. Oh, yeah. You told yeah, me. we were like, uh, look at this bay over here, yo. <laughs> like, hey, like the, uh, this beach is locals only, bro. So like you get off our beach fucking bay, hey, dude. We don't want to see you around here, bro. <laughs> is that a Hawaiian accent? Yeah, yeah. Locals only, bro. It sounds almost like you're saying loco only. And yeah, yeah, it's sort a Mexican. of. You know, I didn't ever, I uh, never it's understood. The same shit, dude. <laughs> was it's like the, uh, four thousand miles away, but it was the same shit. Yeah. The Hawaiian punch guy. Why does he have antlers? I think that's no, his that's hair. his hat, dude. Oh, it's his hat. It's like a Hawaiian hat. Oh, it's like a beach hat. Well, that's so fucking that. idiot. Now uh, we never question. got to the point where do you guys think they have big dicks? The Samoans? Yeah, because they are also Asian. No. Nah, are they just fat and have or big and lean? You know, that's actually dicks? a myth that Asians have dicks. <laughs> 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 tr- yeah, they actually uh, breed through uh, chi. <laughs> you ever see that? Where they do the, uh, with the karate where they don't touch each other? Oh, and then a baby comes out of a woman's pussy? Yeah. Nice. That's how they... Or do they split my off friend, like yeast? When I was a kid, my friend Tommy used to s- swear to me that Alan Iverson was immaculately conceived. That someone came long distance and it, the skeet flew into his mom's vagina. She was never penetrated Why would it, until Alan Iverson was why born. Why was that something that you I don't know. I believed? thought that was, I, you know, I was like, oh, okay, that's well, true. Well, Jews though. are still waiting for the Messiah. That's probably the funniest part about being Jewish. <laughs> so, with you, so you're what you're saying Wait, is that, his friend thought Alan Iverson was the Jewish Messiah. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't think that that's part of being the Messiah. I think that's just part of the Jesus narrative. It is, but who cares? <laughs> <laughs> well, I just love that. Like, I mean, if you're if actually, you're the Messiah, your parents cannot fuck. Right. If you're actually like Jewish, <laughs> your parent and you're a boy. Your like parents think you might be the Messiah. Oh, that's hilarious! So no matter what, they're like they're going to be disappointed with you because that's not real. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Did your parents think you were the Messiah? Uh, kind of. <laughs> in, they still? in a lot of very unfair ways. Yes. Do they still think maybe? Oh, I mean, they just yeah, they they think I'm. What I I should be way more successful than I am. Right. Like the president or something. Yeah, yeah, of yeah. course. And think, if I, you know, you think you could still be the president? Well, I did talk about having a sex slave beat me off on this podcast. <laughs> That's fine, dude. It's so, all out there. Trump, Trump's so Trump's had a fat Howard Stern. That's the thing, man. You just stay problematic, and you never have to worry about it. That's what Trump taught us. Yeah, you might be president, Nick. <laughs> I know. Trump might be president. <laughs> He's not. You say that with such confidence. Yeah, I have no confidence. I wish I the did. Math, the math doesn't work. Oh, the yeah, math whatever. doesn't work? Yeah, the math. Do you know math. math doesn't work? I don't, I don't know, folks. Maybe six million, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's crunch, the Second Amendment people let's, could take a look at those numbers. Let's crunch those numbers. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, if he started fucking dou- doubting <laughs> the Holocaust, that would be awesome. That would be fucking hilarious. He's great. I can't. I'm like. I'm. I'm so glad that we're at least going to hear <laughs> from him for the next for year and sure. a half, two years, no matter what happens. I think. Do you think he's going to have like a really cool meltdown, like tantrum when he loses, or he'll just say that he's it was already rigged. saying it was rigged, which yeah, is yeah. crazy. He'll say it's rigged. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, dude. He might legit like start his own network. That's what I think he's going to do. Is he's because he's Trump just wants to have his own Fox News. Yeah. He's going to have. He Trump already news. has an audience, dude. He's going to get 40% of the vote, at least. It's going to be so impressive. <laughs> he literally has come That's out crazy. against will every type of person. Yeah. I was like the other That's day trying white. to think of a, a group that he d- hasn't disliked. And I was the like, Basque. 
What does he, what does he say Basque? about the Basque? <laughs> I, I thought like Native Americans maybe, but no, he fucking hates them because the, he blames them for the casinos yeah. failing in Atlantic City. Pocahontas. That's hilarious. And po- Pocahontas. Goofy oh, Elizabeth. Goofy, Goofy Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> He's literally come out against every single group, including women. The well, only group men. he hasn't talked shit about is white men. I, love, like, I don't know. I, I think he's great. <laughs> <laughs> just, just vote to send a message, baby. Just like Kumia. That's what it is. It's message signaling. It's signal messaging. That's what <laughs> voting is. I learned that from Michael Foodie's <laughs> Facebook page. You want a message signal with your vote. Foodie is smart as shit. Yeah. He's, so, he's real smart. I'm, just, like, I'm not going to vote. You're not going to vote? Nah. I haven't voted since 2008 for anything. Yeah? Why? Who'd you vote for in 2008? Barack Obama. Young Barack Obama, bitch. Really? Yeah. You find that shocking? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I I had a hard look at it, and I was like, you know what? I'm voting for Jill Stein, bitch. If John McCain was a better pilot, he, wouldn't, right. have, he wouldn't have got caught. Hell yeah. So, I only like winners. Guy. Yeah. So good. Yeah, that's how he started. You know what? It is sort of true that he wasn't a very good pilot. Well, yeah, because he was. His his, his parents were like naval at like uh, royalty. Yeah, he got he got skipped ahead. Yeah, but he was like a gold star POW. You could. Oh yeah, you couldn't be a better war hero than John McCain. He's a hundred percent really good at being a prisoner, and and he refused to get fucking. Released until everyone else gets released. That's crazy, yeah. dude. Yeah, that would have yeah, yeah. been like smashed his teeth out of his mouth. Yeah, they were and, like, so broke mean his to arms. Him. Yeah, I would have killed my fucking. You tr- don't understand what, what they didn't. Yeah. What they didn't do. <laughs> Why didn't they just fuck him? No, they, didn't, they definitely they didn't. fucked him. You think they fucked him? Oh yeah, they probably put That's some the things first in thing his I'd ass. Ask him. Do you know yeah. Michael Michael Foodie his prank on John McCain? He wants to pull. What? He wants to have like a big. <laughs> A big ceremony, like a stadium, and it says like "America number one" or like "Put America first. Some, something about like being patriotic, and then have a hat. This is all pre-Trump with the "Make America Great Again," uh-huh. but I have a hat that says like "America is number one" or "Put America first and like present it to John McCain, but put it on the floor. Oh, that's... and like and say like, all right, and then we give him the hat because he can't lift his arms above his head. He'd have to like squirm like a worm on the ground to put the hat on. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's a pretty mean prank. <laughs> that sounds like a good ass prank yeah, to pull yeah, on. Yeah. John McCain. <laughs> Call that the Shanghai hat. That was like uh, one of the ways they tortured him. <laughs> Make him put a hat on like a Do little. Do you know bitch. about the ways they tortured him? Yeah, they, they would, fucked his ass up. They'd tie, they like tie your hands behind your back and then like raise you from your hands, so it would just dislocate your shoulders. Oh Jesus Christ! So that's why he can't. Lift yeah, his that's arms. why he can't raise his arms. Why he can't do the wave at stadiums? He looks hilarious. Yeah. Bob Dole has a dead arm for being like gunned down by German machine Dude, gun Dude, did you fire. see Bob Dole at the fucking RNC? The pants? That guy is... <laughs> his pants are so good. His, his nipples. pants ruled. Yeah. <laughs> like, why'd they try him out? That guy, there's no way he can mentally even make a decision for who he wants to support for president. They, he literally had his belt wrapped around his armpits. Like, it was, awesome. it was literally right under his titties. God. Oh, shit, was so funny. It's gonna be fucking terrible being here's, old. Here's our hilarious commentary on it. Did you see that shit? <laughs> Ooh, I tell you, boy. Boy, I tell you, shoot. I tell you what. Shoot, boy. Shoot. Come town after dark, bitch. You think we get that wild. Melania Trump is like Russian spy, KGB Ooh. style, and that that's why he's pro Putin because that's Putin's secret wife. Yes. Think about it. Think that about is what it. I think. Then he wins. She's like infiltrated the White House. Putin takes over. We become Russia. Pretty cool, right? That's it, baby. That's it. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean, that's it? That's what his is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did we, were we saying anything funny this week? I don't think so. No, we had a thing we were doing, right? What? On the truck? Oh, yeah. fuck. We didn't plug the show at all, either. What show? We're doing a show Monday. Oh, we had that roast battle this week. Oh, yeah. We also did a roast battle. It was I good. Stop. Nick barely, it was really, came down to the wire. He barely squeaked it out. 
did really good. You I guys mean, should watch the video. Unanimous decision. Pretty well, not unanimous. Judges. Rich Voss did vote for me because he said he felt bad. For I me. don't remember that exactly, but you know, either way, you guys make up your mind. A lot of people came up to me and said they thought I won, but it's you know whatever. It's like a lot of kind of up in the air. It was basically a tie, basically, essentially. Well, Somebody. We have a show on Monday. <laughs> We're all hosting a show on Monday at Come On Everybody. It's not. The come it's, is spelled wrong. It's spelled C apostrophe. It's spelled Mexican M-O-A. question mark C O M O. But yeah, you should come to that show, even though no one's listening anymore. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna fuck and eat pussy on stage, right, guys? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I feel like there was something I wanted to mention that we were saying. What were we saying on set? That was very funny. Yeah, we were. Oh, there was the tour. <laughs> that tour, the Cleveland Boston tour. <laughs> Wait, the, yeah, the, the guy. up for that. No, I oh, well, no, we'll yeah, do it yeah, next This time. guy's like, yeah, yeah, I saw. Uh, no, I already I, ruined it. I, uh, I went around uh, all summer. I saw Jane's Addiction. Oh, yeah, it was Jane's uh, Addiction. Jane's Addiction. Cleveland uh, Boston tour. Cleveland Boston tour. <laughs> it's like 9 12. Cleveland, 913, Boston, 914, Cleveland, 915, Boston, 916, Boston, 917, that's right, baby, Cleveland. <laughs> just the t-shirt? Yeah. That would be a really funny yeah, t-shirt, t-shirt today. T-shirt. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Jane's Addiction, just going back and That wasn't the funny thing, though, that we were... I forgot what we were riffing Yeah, what the now. fuck was it? It doesn't Whatever, matter. Whatever, making fun of some one of those idiots we worked with. We're an hour in. Who gives a fuck? The, the guy we were working with thought both me and Adam were named Matthew. He kept calling us Matthew. He'd be That's like, Matthew? Good. Matthew, can I get a hand over here? Yeah. <laughs> Which Matthew? <laughs> he dressed both of us as Matthew. What the fuck was the... F- we should have thought about this. Ah, what are you do, guys? The pot. I should have written it down. Yeah, we were, at, we were at Chelsea Piers. We talked about that. We want to do a show. It's about oh, like, yeah. New York rich girls. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah. They, uh, one of them saying, "I'm Chelsea Pierce and I'm rich, and I just love shopping and having sex." And then her friend is uh, Madison Square Garden, <laughs> and then they have a Korean friend, uh, Kim Park Slope. <laughs> <laughs> Who, but she just she just looks Korean. Kim she's Park Slope. she's like I'm a real New Yorker, just like the rest of them. She has like a normal voice, <laughs> right, right, right. But right. she's Korean. That's I mean, always funny when you're in Chinatown. And you see like a, a Chinese cop in Chinatown, yeah. and then they just talk. And they're like, hey, "What the fuck are you yeah. doing?" Well, no, there's a lot of like there's a lot of old guy. school Chinese Chinatown guys that are like. Hey, who's this guy over here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and they're like wearing like a fishing vest and yeah. aviators. And they're that still is. Chinese as shit. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to play Mahjong this afternoon. <laughs> you know, a place where a fella could hang out. You know what I mean? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> but they still fuck up the LRs. <laughs> Yeah, yeah this, you want to get to this, Williamsburg, this you train, take the R this train. train. This plane's 40 minutes late. <laughs> what the hell is going on with this train? <laughs> uh, do you remember when you, me, and Jake were, <laughs> were laughing about a girl using twi- uh, having the LR problem using oh, uh, yeah, yeah, Tinder? Yeah. I was trying to do that Swipe as a bit. That line. wasn't me and Jake. I was trying to do that as a bit on stage, but it was too racist. <laughs> as if like, I kept matching with Chinese girls on Tinder. And it was like, I was joking, it was because she was using like the, the speech, speech commands. Bo- speech commands. And she's yeah. like, swipe left. <laughs> yeah. Swiping right. Swiping right. <laughs> <I'm> swiping right. <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid and yeah, racist. I yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I had so much fun just saying racist shit in Chinatown when I lived there. And I would just walk around laughing at those people. <laughs> All day long. <laughs> and now you live in Bedside, and yeah. if you say a racist thing, someone throws a fucking garbage can through the front window yeah, of your yeah. pizza store, right? They ruin your pizza restaurant. They take all the pictures of Italian guys off the walls. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. Well, I think that was a fun riff to end it on. Good fun riff. Yeah, we, we saved it maybe a little bit. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, thanks. <laughs> Good night.